Hello folks, Tyler Padner here. We've got the brand new Air Venturi Rove Air Compressor. And I know we just did one of these videos on the Nomad 3 and you're sitting here saying to yourself, Tyler, they just came out with the Nomad 3. Why do they have a Rove Air now? What is a Rove Air? Well, let me tell you, this is their new lower cost alternative to that higher end Nomad 3. And let me tell you, this thing packs a lot of performance for just $499.99, 500 bucks. And you are getting basically the same fill time performance as your Nomad 3 without some of the frills. Now you still have a maintenance free system here, no lighting or any of that fun stuff. Uh, but runs the same way. You have direct current options for those of you that want to run it off car battery, or you plug it into your wall outlet, 110 volt, or you take the cover off, flip it to 220 if that's how you're running, and you can do it either way. You've still got the filter with the QD on the end of the hose. Uh, let's show you how this thing operates because it's a little bit different, uh, but you got a lot of the same features built in, and again, a hell of a price point at just 500 bucks. All right, we'll get her plugged in to the 110 volt outlet here. Now you'll notice you do also have your connector for your car battery connectors as well, uh, your clamps there. So that's gonna come with the unit, of course, no bag this time. So, you know, if you're a big fan of the bag, you're still gonna wanna buy a Nomad 3, I suppose. Uh, but flipping the unit around here, we have two massive fans that are gonna keep this cool once we get it turned on. Uh, you also have, like I said before, your filter and hose element, your bleed valve and your burst disc, should you overfill something or whatnot, little safety feature there. Now, taking a look at the top, now that we're all plugged in and ready to go, obviously, so you've got your carry handle here, uh, but we have a dual power switch. So in the middle, it's on the off position. Since we have it plugged into a 110 outlet, we're gonna flip it over to the AC side and you hear the unit come to life. Both of those fans start running. And then when we're ready to start filling, we're gonna hit that start button. Now this has the same auto stop feature as the Nomad 3 does and the same adjustable output pressure up to 4,500 PSI. So pretty much any gun out there, you're gonna be able to fill with this bad boy. And the fill times are almost identical to the Nomad 3. So a hell of a lot of performance. Uh, let's give you an idea what it sounds like. Pow! Brand new FX Panthera. Let's give it a fill here. We do have about 175 bar already in the gun, so let's top it up. Uh, also, pretty freaking sick. All right, here we go. We are gonna pull the cap off of the QD. We're gonna hook up our hose. Bam. We're gonna adjust this up to 250 bar, right about 3,600 PSI. Here we go. This is cruising. Get some sprints in, Matt. We're at like 3,200 PSI. Cruising. Let's take a look at how we're doing here. Oh, woohoo. All right, so just turned off all on its own. Now we are going to bleed the unit. It bleeds out the bottom, so keep your hands free done deal there. Now, if you want to let the unit cool, that was a pretty quick fill, you know, maybe a minute or two, but if you have a longer fill, you might want to let the fans run for a second, but just flip it back to that middle position and you're all set. We've bled the line, we've turned off the unit, we are good to disconnect our gun, and now I am going to go shoot this beast, and you guys are going to go to the website and check this thing out. We'll see you next time.